Pereira. Hello. Hello, Earl Nurse from CNN. Um, yes, just curious, in, in your preparation, um, is diet an important part of your, your, your preparation and success? How important is what you eat when it comes to your preparation? Well, uh, good morning. Um, well, my, I have been not very, very focused on the diet during all my life. Uh, but of course, when you are getting older, every small thing... Uh, can have a, a bigger impact. No, uh, obviously, I I try to take care about uh, my my eating habits, but normally I I just try to to have a, a very normal life. Rafael, how are you? Nabateos, Bill Roden on sports. Um, wanted to ask you about that. You've had so many tremendous moments in the U.S. Open. Which match resonates with you the most uh, playing this luxurious tournament? Well, I think the the match that I have uh, best memory probably was the final of 2013. Uh, yeah, I've been a so important victory for me after. Uh, a big and long injury in 2012. Uh, be able to win a Grand Slam here on Hart again have been so special for me. Hello. Big four, the big three. First it was Andy, then Stan, now Dominic. Can you talk a little bit about Dom team and your two, I mean, obviously two great finals with him, but what would it take for him to break into the big four? Well, it's difficult to say, no? He, he's, he's there already, no? He's, he's the number four now. He's, every year he's improving. Uh, already this year he, he won a Masters 1000 on Ohart. Uh, he played again the final in Roland, Roland Garros. He's, every day he's a very solid. Even he's, every, every year is more solid, no? So he has everything uh, to win important events. He already is winning important events. He's very, very hard worker and just question of time that he achieved the, all his goals. Well, we shared the team in two years ago in Prague. It's always great to share moments with him. He's a great, great, uh, great man, uh, good uh, human uh, person and a good friend of mine, yeah. Do you, have, do you have an advantage where the draw came out with Roger and uh, Djokovic? I don't know. I have to win my matches to, to have an advantage because I, always, I only can meet them in, in the semifinals. Uh, I have plenty of work before that to, to, to know if I have an advantage or not. So let's see if I am able to do my work for, for my side. Um, but that's not an advantage or disadvantage that's part of the of the draw and that's part of the <laughs> of the things that happens when you are number one number two and number three uh, for example in Wimbledon was the, the other way uh, they change it and and now it here is the opposite so let's see what's going on Rafa, a lot of people speak about the serve and how much of a weapon the serve is, but people don't talk as much about the return. Could you just talk about how important the return is and how important it is to a player's game and success? On hard course, uh, serve and return are so important. No, that has, um, both shots have a very big impact on the success or, <laughs> or not. Uh, in this sport, no, honestly, I think have a good return and a good serve gives you a very, very big advantage because the two first shots on the point uh, are decisive because you play rallies, yes, but every time the the game is mover is moving in a in a more aggressive way. So we need you need to start the point uh, the right way. If not, you are in big trouble. 
Uh, USTA has a, a net generation kid zone here as a big part of fan week where kids can play different sports, basketball, football. As someone that played a lot of soccer uh, growing up, how important was that to your development as a, a tennis player? And how important is it for kids to play a lot of sports in their, in their development as a young athlete? For the kids, the most important thing is to have fun, more than thinking about uh, being professionals in any in anything. You know, when they are kids, they have to enjoy life. They have to to play different sports. They have to to enjoy every single day. You no, know? it's not thinking about uh, they gonna play as soccer because that can help for for tennis or not. You no, know? I think they that can help to 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 be happier, and <laughs> that's the most important thing. Then, if they are happier, normally when they go to play tennis, they have a better chance to to try their their best. Of course, in my opinion to develop your weapons in, in, in different sports, it's better because you have uh, a better options and you have uh, the mind more open for all the, all the movements. Rafa, you've experienced success at a young age. You were a teenager when you won a slam. I'm curious, in your opinion and your experience, what are the most important things to protect a young player doing very well? What is key to make sure what your career it is going the right way and you're protected in the right way. I don't know. I think the overprotection is sometimes not good because they are not able to to go to grow with the the life is not that easy always, you know. So you need to be prepared for the for the tough moments. If you overprotect the the young kids, then when they're gonna have problems, because in life you're gonna have problems at some point, probably they are not very well prepared. No? So in my opinion, you cannot uh, say, okay, we protect all the problems that you can face at the age of 16, 17, 18. I don't think it's good because then the, the develop, the develop, development of the kids are uh, slower and uh, probably that's why one that's one of the reasons I have been able to to be very competitive at very young stages of, of my career no because I, I was I, I probably give it a, a normal education not like a superstar education I just play it on the street with with my friends, I had a very, really normal life. So that helps you to, to grow with, uh, with a normal education. Uh, Rafa, how much, how much better physically do you feel going into this year's US Open as opposed to last year when I remember you had some knee issues and just the, the win in Canada, how, how nice a boost is that for you going in here? I, I hope to be ready. Uh, Last year, honestly, I was not that bad. I was, of course, my feeling on the on the knees are better this year than last year. But last year, the problem was I played uh, three or four very, very long matches. So that's tough. Uh, I think the right way during these days, of course, winning in Montreal help. And I am ready for the action. Hopefully, remain a couple of days of good practices. So let's see if I'm able to, to make that happen. It's going to be for these two weeks. I don't know. I can't predict the future. No, but of course, uh, arrive to the big events with good feelings helps. No, and uh, my last events have been winning Rome, winning Roland Garros, semi-finals in Wimbledon, and winning Montreal. So that's a positive feelings and positive memories on my mind. No, that helps for the confidence, help to help to for the positive feelings. Um, but but then this, the the main thing is arrive here and adapt to the conditions, feel yourself ready, playing well. For the moment, I am feeling well. I, am think, I think I'm practicing uh, well during the whole week. And I remain a couple of days to just push a little bit more and just try to, to start the tournament in a good way. This court, he's been on practice court one right behind us throughout much of the week. I'd say Rafa Nadal is practicing pretty well. 